Next, you have to define the rough and finish machining of the final outside shape. Add a new iMachining 2D operation. In the Solid Cam Manager, right-click the Operations header and choose 2D iMachining from the Add Milling Operation submenu. The iMachining Operation dialog box is displayed and the default iRough is used for technology. On the Geometry page, click the New button to start the geometry definition. For this operation, the geometry is defined as a semi-open pocket. Because the final outside shape is marginally smaller than the original, a material boundary can be used to define the machining geometry. In the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, first pick on the bottom edge of the target model representing the final outside shape as shown. This curve is selected to specify the start of the chain. In the Chain section of the Geometry Edit dialog box, enable the Auto 2 checkbox and select Auto Constant Z. Then, pick on the bottom edge of the target model as shown. This curve is selected to specify the end of the chain and all entities up to that element are connected. In the Chain List section, click the green check mark to accept the chain as open. The chain icon appears in the chain list. Click OK to confirm the chain selection and exit the Geometry Edit dialog box. In the Material Boundary area on the Geometry page, note that the In Geometry radio button is no longer active and Define Offset is selected as the default. This is because the chain is currently open. In this case, you have to define an offset. The iMachining technology uses the offset value to automatically build the remaining geometry by a distance, making it semi-open. For the purpose of this exercise, there is only 5 millimeters of material to remove to achieve the final outside shape. Therefore, enter a value of 5 in the Define Offset Input Field text box. Based on the amount of material that needs removal, as well as the tool size, it is important to enter an accurate offset value to ensure the automatic building of semi-open geometry is correct. Click the Preview button to verify the auto-built chain is correct. The entities shown in blue represent the chain chosen at geometry selection, while those shown in green represent the auto-built chain. It is important to note that the offset gets built on the left side of the chain direction. Therefore, when defining geometries using this method, chains must always be selected to indicate climb cutting. In some cases, like this example, using a material boundary is beneficial. It eliminates the need to sketch a working area in SOLIDWORKS and as a result can help reduce programming time. Click Cancel to exit the Show Geometry dialog box. Switch to the Tool page and click the Select button. In the Part Tool table, select Tool number 2, the 12.5mm end mill. Click the Select button to choose the tool for the operation and exit the Part Tool table. Switch to the Levels page to define the milling levels. Click the Upper Level button. In the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, select the top face of the stock model as shown, and then click OK to confirm the selection. Next, click the Pocket Depth button and select the bottom edge of the target model to define the machining depth. Click OK to confirm the selection. To perform machining deeper than the part bottom edge, enter a delta depth value of negative 0.76 millimeters. Switch to the Technology Wizard page. The default cutting conditions are used with a machining level aggressiveness of 6. Looking at the step-down output grid, the wizard automatically calculated two steps to achieve the total depth. The ACP indication is 2.2 and the field is painted green for good stability. Switch to the technology page. The step down and cutting angles generated by the wizard are shown. By default, a 0.24 mm allowance will be left on the walls. At this point, the operation can be calculated and the iMachining toolpath can be viewed on the model. Name the operation iRough Final Outside Shape. Click the Save and Calculate button to add the iRough operation to the cam tree and calculate the iMachining toolpath.
Click the Simulate button to display the simulation control panel. Using the default HostCAD simulation mode, click the Play button to show the wireframe toolpath on the model. The tool approaches and performs the rough machining of the final outside shape, only working in the area defined by a material boundary. Close the simulation control panel with the exit button to display the iMachining Operation dialog box. To perform the finish machining of the final outside shape, you have to define an iFinish operation. Create a copy of the current iMachining operation. Click the Save and Copy button. The current iMachining Operation dialog box closes and the copied operation automatically opens. Click the drop down menu under Technology and change the operation type to iFinish. The copied machining geometry, 12.5mm tool, and milling levels from the previous iRough operation are used for this iFinish operation. On the Technology Wizard page, the default cutting conditions are used with a machining level aggressiveness of 6. On the Technology page, the step down and cutting angles generated by the wizard are shown. By default, the wall island offset is set to 0. Switch to the iRest Data tab. The previous iRough operation is selected as the parent operation by default and the fields are automatically filled with the three important values needed for calculating rest material. At this point, the operation can be calculated, and the iMachining toolpath can be viewed on the model. Name the operation iFinish Final Outside Shape. Click Save and Calculate, and then click Simulate. Click the Play button to view the iMachining toolpath at work. The tool approaches and performs finishing of the final outside shape by removing the 0.24mm offset from the walls. Using the exit buttons, close the simulation control panel and the iMachining Operation dialog box. At this stage, step 2 is complete. The machining of the final outside shape is defined, and a material boundary was used for the geometry definition. If you have not followed along, Apply and practice the procedure shown in these videos to complete the machining of the outside shape.